Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Sword of the Stars 2. Um, what's this screen I use to get rid of the encoding crap at the beginning? I'll get back to it in a second. But first, we ended the turn and Varkona's Legions wishes to establish a non-aggression pact. Um, so normally, I would totally just say yes and move on with it. Um, I think it's the, the better decision in this case because, I mean, even though my ships are definitely going to be stronger than his, it's going to be hard for me to rush him because it's going to take me like 60 turns to get to his homeworld. So, um, so what's the point of staying at war? But because I want to make this challenging and, and fun and interesting, I'm going to decline. And I don't even know if the AI is programmed to offer start offering incentives um so we're gonna find out <laughs> so we're going to decline all right survey new admirals okay nothing much has happened in the meantime so um yeah so there's actually nothing to do here we're going to repair um, if you see at the home world I have the available repairs totally eclipses the amount that we need to repair. Um, if you didn't have enough and you had to prioritize, you can repair and select how much repairing you need to do to each individual ship. But we're just going to click repair all, confirm repairs. And the last version, this wasn't updating to the right color, but it looks like that's fixed. Good. It's there. Okay, so my survey fleet is ready. It is idle. Um, good. Nothing else for now. End turn. Okay, what is this? This is um, a page in the wiki. Tactical combat. Um, you get to it just by going here. Uh, tactical combat. Okay. Um, it most of this is up to date. Some of these screenshots were taken a while ago, so this is a bit different. Um, but most of this is totally accurate. Here you have another explanation of the armor penetration and stuff like that. Um, so nice overview. Uh, it's a good reference to have. Um, some of this stuff is still mostly accurate. Um, but the reason I brought it up is because it reminded me of these buttons way back in one of the first episodes. I couldn't remember what all the different ones were and what they meant. So here you go. I believe this is accurate. At least I know all of these are there. I think they're in a different order and I think there's like a second one that looks like Ripple. Anyways, the point is um, normally free-for-all is going to be fine. Sometimes you may want to do spread and I would do that if I had a lot of like torpedoes would be ideal for spread in some circumstances. If you're fighting small ships with torpedoes, use spread because otherwise you're going to waste all your torpedoes because you'll kill a ship with three and you sent nine torpedoes, six of them are wasted. Um, Similarly, I think alpha would be useful for, um, I think, uh, I should try it actually, but I think mass drivers and ballistic we ballistics weapons would work well with alpha. The reason being that, or, or impactors or something that gives a lot of uh, kinetic, a lot of momentum. Uh, oh, my game has updated. Ooh, we have our first random encounter, and it is with the Haunt of Spectres. Now, these are pretty weak, and they're easy to shoot down with planet missiles, but... So let's just go for it. Normally, I would actually just auto-resolve this, but I want to kind of film it for you guys. Um, but, 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 the... Uh, this is a nice view of the gate ship. Anyways, let's take it. Let's find our ghosts. But this is a fledgling colony, so I'm kind of afraid it won't have uh, enough oomph 
to take these ghosts out. And if it doesn't, then it's just going to destroy the colony, and then I'm going to have to recolonize it. What a pain. So the amount of missiles your planets shoot is proportional to its population. Okay, uh, to speed up, control page up. To slow down, control page down. So I'm going to speed this up. So as long as there's a green dot here, the planet is not, the colony is not destroyed. And the colony was destroyed. <laughs> so we spent all that effort. Oh, and now they're attacking my gate ship. Let's So I'm, I'm slowing it down again. Telling it to fire. Cruiser lost. Well, that was bad. So that was unfortunate. Um, that means we're gonna have to like regate it and everything. Uh, so that's a pain. Um. In previous versions, the uh, encounters, they wouldn't go after your gate ships. Um, gate ships were kind of acting very buggy, so this has never happened <laughs> before. Um, but I mean, I, it should happen. That's the way it should work. Um, it's too bad, too, because we had a patrolling fleet and we sent it back just for repairs, and it would have been really useful to have out here. So... Um, well, what can you do? We'll have to to deal with it. Um, by the way, it's it's taking. What, this is it's essentially processing the next turn. It just doesn't bother to switch back to the uh, star map screen. Oh, there we go. System updates. Okay. Yes. Yes, I know, that was bad. Okay, so, well, there's not much we can do. Our colonization ships are supporting Flinx 4. How's that going? It's coming along. Here, my survey fleet is done. Next turn, I'm gonna get my new ship, and then I think we're gonna have to make a new gate fleet, because I'm not gonna wait forever until these guys come back. Okay and that turn. So, um, yeah, so I would use Alpha for um, ballistic weapons because if they're powerful and the first volley can knock, like if half your turrets knock it out of its current path, then successive volleys that might have been well aimed will completely miss. So that would be interesting to try. Um, Ripple, it stagger the shots to sustain firepower. I don't, I can't think of a specific kind of defense right now that is weaker to that kind of firepower than to just getting hit all at once. Uh, however, that would be useful for something like disruptors or there are weapons similar to that that um, disable the ship or short it out. So if you mounted more than one, you don't want them all to fire at the same time. Um, so I could see that uh, as being uh, fun. Anyways, there's uh, more information here that you can refer to. And the other thing that's good, I'm back at the homepage here, is uh, the strategic turn. So here you get a pretty up to date. I haven't reread it recently, but I'm pretty sure this is all correct information. Um, that talks about everything that's empire management, and there are links to, to the trade section, the upkeep section, and all of that. So this is good, uh, good reference. Um, really, the main thing that I find the wiki is missing is the uh, 
kind of like the data mine information from those XML files that I was showing you earlier, like this kind of stuff, what technologies are needed for which ship se sections and all that. So that's really the main thing that's missing. Hopefully uh, they'll add it. I mean, I'm sure it'd be pretty straightforward to just run a script, you know, that uh, gets all that information automatically. The only uh, issue is uh, since it's constantly changing, or not constantly, I mean, you'd expect it to be pretty fixed in time, but it might still be changing until uh, they're done patching it constantly. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it for the external resources. Um, if I think of any other ones, or if I think of, uh, thank you. All right, if I think of like some other things that are interesting to data mine, then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, and do that. Okay, we finally got some tech and we built a ship. And so except for the fact that we lost, except for the fact that we lost Thundera, we're actually doing pretty well. Our economy is growing and we're less invested in that one uh, that one colony, which is uh, eating up all our resources. Um, okay, so first let's pick our new tech. And I think that's gonna be dry docks. So we just got this guy here. This over here is a very nice Tech mega strip mining. It allows you to build mining bases. Mining bases are uh, uh, mining stations. Sorry, mining stations are expensive to build yourself, but you can have civilians do it for you through stimulus, and that'll increase your industrial output. Um, that's a good thing to have in your economy. We can't really afford the stimulus spending right now, though, and um, forty-three turns is a long time to research, even by Hiver standards. Um, this new technology that opened up, pressure polarization, um, it's good for um, when you're colonizing those terribly inhospitable planets, you get to develop quicker. Also further on here, you have technology that helps with um, supply on your ships. As hivers, that's really rarely gonna be an issue, but if you're like humans, um, they're terrible at supply, so that can be a really uh, useful technology. Okay, I am thinking uh, orbital dry docks. Um, mainly because, I mean, so orbital dry docks is, is essentially an economic tech because it, uh, I'm trying to, no, 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 <laughs> okay, it's dodging my cursor. Um, reduces the construction costs of cursors and dreadnoughts. So in that sense, it's essentially an economic tech. Um, also, right after this, you get another access to another technology that increases your industrial output everywhere. The other uh, money techs, by the way, are this guy here, but we're not guaranteed to get it, telekinesis. Following telekinesis, there's, one, there's another tech for research boost, which is nice, excuse me. Um, trade, this is a big one. I haven't researched it yet because in order to make trade work, you've got to build civilian stations and either invest in stimulus for trade or build your own trade ships. So it actually takes a bit of money to get going. So I'm waiting for my population to grow a bit as I research these first techs. Um, yeah, and uh, also expert systems. In, uh, is uh, a great uh, economic early game tech, um, but you're not guaranteed to get it. So uh, we're gonna go for Orville Dry Docks. This project may advance the children in a great way. And what 
that's in the reserve. Oh, there's my, my super ship is in the reserve. So for now, we're gonna use the um, survey fleet as our main fleet. Um, but later on, we'll, we'll build our own fleet. So now that we've built the Black Queen, it only costs 120,000, not 480. Um, but that's what we're gonna build now. We're gonna build a gate ship and another command ship. Construction order placed, Majesty. So this will be our third gate fleet and we're gonna use it to get back to Thundera. Now, I'm actually not sure if the Haunt of Spectres are permanent or not. Because, to be quite honest, every time I face them, I have killed them in the past. Um, or, that seems unlikely. I'm sure they've attacked, like, a weak planet before. So I guess what I should say is I've never seen them come back or permanently haunt a system. But that would be interesting, because if they do, then this little duo that I sent out is not going to be enough. We might have to research forecasting sooner than, than later. But anyways, this will have to do for now. So, um, let's uh, end the video here. This will be a shorter episode than, uh, than usual, but that's all right. Um, and because I'm going to try to restart the client to see if I can improve the uh, turn times. And so uh, I will save and I will see you in the next episode.